What is up, my flawlessly kings and queens? Welcome back to my channel. Now, we got Just Being Brianna back in the click today, you guys. And if you guys haven't seen my last video, y'all could go and check it out right there. But her and Latruth, which is her husband, decided to go live to prove and show the world that they definitely are on good terms and that they may have been back together. Now, fast forward, current time, Brianna decided to post this video on her Instagram and that's her and him and she actually gave him a kiss and said I love you now everybody in the comment section had a lot to say I did see a couple people saying I'm so tired of this situation you will never find the right one if you don't let go of the wrong one shaking my head they doing this for money sad and another person said I think everything was done purposely I'm still confused and if it was a lie I lost all respect for her then this man said people are so mad at them still being together they gave y'all exactly what y'all was looking for a show sick of it she should be in front of you this goes to show who has who back now this person said at the end of the day this is their marriage and what they decide to do is their business i wish them the best y'all got my prayers so sad and confused marriage is sacred it has its ups and downs and it should be between y'all no one else now click all i gotta really say is my sister and burnt too many bridges and there's nothing i can do for her now now, first of all, Click, what I will say is that definitely that comment is 100% right, that it is their marriage, it is their decision, and they have to be the only one to live it. Now, however, with him having 8.9 million on Facebook, 1 million on Instagram, and 2.3 million followers on TikTok, and her landing at a whopping 989.1K followers on TikTok, also 3 million on Facebook, and 800,000 followers on Instagram. Now, this the reason why I'm bringing this up is because there is absolutely no way that you're going to tell me with millions of followers that people are going to mind their business after there was a public announcement from Miss Latrue that she was experiencing alleged abuse in her household. No way people are going to mind their business. Now, they do have diehard fans who actually are saying that they still look up to this man after the alleged abuse rumors. Now, this guy said, said, now this is what I call real true love at La Truth. I knew it was a reason I looked up to you. Now click, I'm going to be 100% honest and y'all already know on this channel why keeps it straight, real, and upfront. At this point, this is not okay. Why it's not okay is the fact that they think that they could just brush this underneath the rug and this is very real because of the fact that you do have millions of people who look up to you she preaches self-love but came to the world and said that her husband was abusing her and she's dealt with that for a long time and now she wanted to speak up into going back into his arm saying that she loves him now we do understand me as a survivor i do know that i went back to my abuser i will say that but at that time i didn't have 600 billion people following me telling me they look up to me so i think it's very necessary that she does address this issue and tell the truth and really be real about it because at this point it's giving let me promote my brand and let me get these sales while the clout is still hot and this is really how I truly feel that it could be one of the reasons why things are happening because at the end of the day a lot of people are stating that they think this was all fake this is made up they do skits all the time now, I ain't gonna lie it, it could be true simply because it made its way to the click I knew nothing about about them until the click actually brought it to me. My kings and queens was in my DMs throwing it out there like, are you gonna talk about Miss Latruth and Latruth? Like they he he abused his wife. These are all headlines because obviously since Krishan Rock and Blueface had went famous with it, <laughs> they blew up with this shenanigans of being toxic toxic behavior, toxic relationship. And what it does is it brings more revenue to their pocket. I don't understand. I can't even break it down to you guys and even let you know how. That happens, but it does, and it did. Now, Brianna actually posted in her stories. Now, this is this actual message is deleted, so she did say, you will always be my best friend, no matter what. You were my first husband. We have so many memories together. I can never forget that. You are also the father of our baby girl, Amora, and she adores you so much. Love doesn't fade away. Love doesn't die overnight. I will always be his friend and his number one supporter, no matter what. I will never be bitter. He is an amazing father, and I could never take 
take that away from him. We both are broken individuals who need to seek healing from our childhood traumas. When I write down all the bad things that has ever happened in our marriage, the good overweigh the bad. We are just taking our time to heal as individuals so that we can come back together than ever as healed individuals. Wow, that is so powerful. <laughs> Academy Award. <laughs> now he's the most amazing dad when she literally said, we ain't even, you know what? Never mind. Anywho, she kept this post up and she said, everybody wants peace until they realize peace means changing your tone when speaking with someone who has irritated you. No longer making everything an argument, listening before responding, setting boundaries and understanding boundaries others have set and no longer allowing just anyone to have access to you. Some of you don't want real peace because to require peace is to give it to others. How do you expect peace when you're responding in toxic ways? Yes to the copy and paste and Google search. Anywho, I'm going to tell y'all right now, click, I'm not feeling shorty because at the end of the day, I am a survivor. I'm going to say it again like I always do. I almost lost my life, okay? I take this very serious. I don't wipe it under the rug. I don't play no games. I don't do this. I don't say it just for people to follow me, just for people to feel me, just for clout, just for clicks, none of that. The reason why I really love to do this job in a sense is because I'm able to be able to speak out and really be real about it and give my insight on a lot of things. I I don't agree with what she's doing simply because you are raising kings and you are raising queens and it's just not okay i have learned from my mistake from years ago i was never at this age making those type of mistakes however when you do make a mistake at a certain age and you're an adult you pick yourself back up and you keep it moving now while i can't tell somebody how they should heal or what they should do for the growth process i don't think it's a smart idea for you to be around your alleged abuser talking about that's what you need for peace. That's not peace because when you spoke a couple weeks ago, you basically said that you were overwhelmed, that it was too much, that you've been holding things in for too long and the truth is coming out. Or are you telling the truth? But this video is not in a matter of whether she's telling the truth or not because at the end of the day, it's already out there. People have their own perceptions of everything. Like she said, she don't care to clear anything up. But I really just find it really weird because you could speak out about anything else trying to give other people advice about self love about spreading toxic energy negative energy but you can't speak out about the alleged abuse that you accuse your husband of now click i'm genuinely really concerned for the children because the fact that they did speak up on her behalf when this whole situation aired and they also said that they witnessed things and that they heard her screaming and they were crying and all this other things which they are now dealing with childhood traumas you speak about childhood trauma but you're putting your children through the same thing that's just not okay you have to break the cycle I don't care if you decided that you wanted to marry somebody, you decided that you wanted to stick with that person, whether he abused you or not. You have to put yourself first. Not only do you have to put yourself first, you have to put your children first as well. Now, you cannot get upset at the fact that people are making their own opinions off of the fact that you spreaded this misinformation or you spreaded this truth that you are now trying to clean up. So it just is what it is. I really am going to continue to pray for the children, especially because because I really don't want it to be a bashing party. But as I said, I don't play no games when it comes to this topic because there are real DV survivors who supported this woman. And just to see you go back to him, whether that's the cycle or not, it's just not okay. So why I got this platform is to still let you guys know that I don't support Krishan Rock or Blueface relationship. I don't support Latruth or Miss Latruth relationship, marriage, whatever we call it. The point is I don't support domestic violence. I don't support people toxic relationship i don't support people talking about self-love all these things and then they're not loving their self i do not support fraud right and in my opinion this is straight fraudulent because at the end of the day whether you're married or not you're supposed to stick it through but you don't stick it through with somebody who has hurt you in a physical way mentally emotionally i think in my in my opinion if it was me and i'm speaking on my opinion on, on my thoughts all right i do not feel like brianna was away from the truth long enough to even know what it even feels like literally not even the first step 
she hasn't even taken the first step, in my opinion, to be on her healing process, her healing journey. She most definitely ran back into his arms way too quick. Now, I'm not going to say that he is an abuser because we don't even know if he actually abused her. Let's just say that. But because she did speak out and say that he did do those things, allegedly, we are forming our opinion based off of what she said, point blank, period. At the end of the day, I just want to let you know, kings and queens, do not allow no partner to ever abuse you mentally physically emotionally it does not matter whether you're married to them whether you've been with them for over a decade i don't care if you've been with them for a week it is not worth it i always tell you that you have to find your self-worth once you find it that is the most powerful weapon that you can use against a narcissist and a person who does not love you hell anybody stay strong leave the toxic relationship it's not worth it i promise you it's not worth taking your life it's not worth that person taking your life it's just not worth it and i really feel like she is doing a disservice to some of her supporters because they are flooding my dms with talking about how they looked up to her that they had the strength to leave their abuser and to turn around and see her back kissing on the truth they really lost all hope and this is real whether we all have our own mind or not there's a lot of people who definitely look up to a lot of people relationships and strengths and say hey i want to go i want to move on i want to do this being an influencer is is a real job it's definitely very very important to make sure that you are influencing the right thing to the people because a lot of people are followers well click that's all i got to say about this i hope i covered everything i definitely did write everything down just to make sure that i covered the key points that a lot of you was talking to me about in my dm she most definitely should come out on her platform to say don't be like me rather than talking about all this other stuff and just say you know i made my decision this is what i want to do and it is what it is other than saying here trying to get upset talking about people making assumptions people that, girl you put it out in the public we gonna definitely most definitely talk about it now i already made my reservations and y'all know we most definitely talk about it i'll see you guys in the next upload and remember if nobody told you that they love you today just know that i love you today tomorrow forever and always if you guys ever need to talk to me my dms are always open i try to get back to everybody as soon as i could just know that i'm a believer and i'm not a saint and i'm definitely not perfect never try try to portray that I am perfect but solely because I know that God is love it really pushes me to push forward and spread it and I want to spread it more ways than one to my supporters I love you guys so much see you guys in the next upload bye <laughs>